Hi, welcome to Awkward Amster. I recently got a Oculus Quest 2. I figured I'd get a case and a new Hest trap for it. This is the case. It's, it was on sale during Black Friday. And it was about $46 before shipping and tax. And I got this one as a set, even though I could have gotten it cheaper, the Hestrap cheaper. But I got the set just because I want to make sure that the case would be able to accommodate the Hestrap. Because if you buy the Hestrap by itself online with various designs, the lowest I've seen this for was about $16. Let's first take a look at the accessories for the mounting hardware. And here's the manual for it. We got the disassembled existing straps. Okay. These are the replacements. It has to work like this, I believe. That way, when I need to tighten it, I just turn the dial here. Notice how this will pull in the sides and out. This cushion here, oh good, ooh. It is removable, a Velcro type of design, but notice how this part is really starting to become undone. So if any other folks out there pull on these and need to remove it to, to be cleaned, just be careful. Don't pull too hard, too fast. It's, it's not like a synthetic leather. It's I'm not sure. Kind of, the material is very similar to the shoulder straps on a backpack. The part that goes on the head is very smooth. And this part is Velcro. So the way this was sit is it was sit inside the case like this. Controllers will go right in the middle, and the Oculus will go right here. Then on this side, I can place the wall adapter, USB Type C cord, like a synthetic leather type of strap, single stitch. Make sure this closes. Okay, yes, it does close. When I saw the listing on Amazon, I was, I was wondering why they had this groove here. But it looks like this groove here is just to hold the Oculus and the controllers in place when it's closed. It's also like a synthetic type of leather on the outside here. Hopefully it will last. Now, let me take my, uh, let's switch this over. First, let's assemble my existing one. The mounts are labeled. This set is for the right, or as this one will be for the left. First, loosen this a bit. So here is also labeled left, left, left. Just lining these up. It's pretty tough to put in because the sides here are protruding a lot. It looks like it's almost as if it's, this part's already tilted towards my right. 
if I install this. Hmm. I'll try installing the bomb first then. I believe. Ooh, it's not going any easy for me. Because this piece here, it's also tilted, just like the other one. Just because it's tilted, I'm thinking that maybe it was by design. I should have tested this on the, the headset first before I assembled it. It's definitely a lot tighter. Wow. It's very tight fit. All right, finally. Right side is in. Left side, your turn. Oop, did I get it? I think I did. I think I got it now. Okay. Now for the head strap piece. The, the foam back on. And now I'll say it's just pretty good so far. better fit than just using a, a, a strap, the original strap. And loosening it is also much faster. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely recommend getting it, not use the original Oculus head strap. Oculus does sell the Oculus Elite, the head strap Elite, but those are very expensive. They're, I think it's like, around $100. Every part that's touching the head, it's part, it's padded. None of the, the plastic parts are touching the skull. The size over here is, is just some clearance, the back, the headpiece. So far, so good. She's playing Bee Saber right now. And Justin is just like a kid's bike helmet, so. This little groove I mentioned before, I'm gonna use it to hold the charging cable, the power adapter, and a lens cleaner. I think traveling with this would be a lot easier than trying to travel with this. Here's the old strap. I'm not gonna need it anymore. This, I can still bring it per se. I can still just install it on my Oculus. This is the, um, what do call it? The eyeglass spacer. I pay about 45, 46 dollars off Amazon. It's a little bit more than buying them separately, especially with the holiday sales going on right now, but at least it's made for each other. I'll make a follow-up video if something ever goes wrong. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.